Tucson, live at 5. It's been in the works for months, upgrading a system you hope you never need, but are happy that it's there. It's the 911 system, and we're talking about better response time and better resources. Tucson Police and Tucson Fire now working together, merging their operations. Besides streamlining the dispatch process, the city's also hoping to save money. This story is new at 5, and News 4 Tucson's Jack Briggs has the details. Nina Jones is doing double duty answering both fire and police related calls, in turn speeding up the process to send help. And you're shaving seconds off, which in an emergency is a big deal. It just takes a couple seconds to make the difference between life or death sometimes. Jones is one of about 17 people who was part of the cross training program. One goal is to reduce the number of transferred 911 calls, there? but there are times when transfers may still be necessary. During high call volume times, we can see where we may triage some calls um, weed out duplicate costs so that we can focus on those real emergencies. More upgrades on the way. Tucson plans to implement a next generation 911 system. We're looking forward to uh, the new technology. Enhanced mapping software, video, and text to 911 are among the capabilities of this new technology. I think one of the biggest challenges will be to make sure that we have the ability to. Um, answer those texts and provide appropriate services, um, particularly in a critical emergency. 911 center renovations also in the works, creating unity between both departments in and out of the field. A lot of times we work hand in hand with each other, so it's critically important that we have that communication. And I think with all of us in the same room, that's just going to benefit the community that much more. 